here um, at the uh, Kinch Cinch K I N C H. Um, this is uh, zone two in the attic. Um, has a nice white scuttle there. Uh, it's actually 21 and a half um, from those springs um, by a little over four feet there. So there's plenty of space. Um, unit or the closets located in the master bedroom. Come upstairs, um, turn to the right. Master beth bedrooms on the left come through the bathroom and it's a closet. Plenty of space up here. Um, it's uh, 60,000, 80 percent, uh, 60,000 BTU, 80 percent. Um, train in 1993 is uh, looks like the year that it was installed, so it's original equipment to the home. Uh, 16 by 25 by 1. The filter. Um, the um, return box there is 14 tall by 19 deep. 14 wide by 19 deep by 18 inches tall. It's got 12 inch flex running off of it. Snakes around here. Goes over across the way there. Four inch B vent. Runs back along here. Goes out the roof there. Um, over there is the B vent from the, the basement. There's that chase um, that is over there. Uh, so I believe this refrigerant line can be changed. Um, just kind of follow that for you over there. It goes over and drops into that chase uh, and then goes out. If you look at the video from the downstairs, it's a nice wide chase in there. Your supply up here is flex. 12 inch flex duct coming off of uh, your supply there going into the box there and then spidering off of it. Three quarter inch hard pipe. Uh, some flex there. Your electric. Attic pan. Condensate line running in. Uh, don't know what that uh, emergency drain is other than uh, maybe there's a second floor hot water here that's running in that chase over there. Uh, this looks like this drains down into the bathroom. There is in the basement. There's a it says emergency drain line. Coil data. And done. Looks like it's been replaced. Get to look at the outdoor unit. That's all I got.